Well, welcome to another show. It is Thursday, May 16th, 2024. Welcome to the only show about Spartan Dogs, hosted by Spartan Dogs. This is Sparta MSU. I'm your host, Jason Strayhorn, with my co-host, Cedric Swervin Irvin. What's going hey, on, Stray? Man, hey, you look like you out there enjoying yourself. Where you at? Oh, straight. You know, sometimes I get my Tiger Woods on here and there. You know, I'm out here in Swanee, Georgia. Uh, matter of fact, at an MSU Atlanta uh, alumni uh, golf tournament, man. It's, it's been beautiful. Met a lot of alumni, man. Great people. Also had a chance to see Coach Bobby Williams and uh, Charlie Baggett. So, man, it's been fun so far, man. And, yeah, of course, you know, I got a couple hole-in-ones. I did one where I got a, a hole-in-one and I won a truck. $62,000, but I donated back. You donated? You don't need that truck, man. You got too many of them things, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was like, you know, I'm going to let the other people play for it. I mean, it seemed like you're a little down, man. You only got one hole-in-one. Usually you have about 14 in a, in a round. Right, but I just did the hole-in-one challenge, then I quit. Okay, okay. So they was already saying, you know, how, you know, you... I'm number four. I had to do the whole speech at the, at the beginning. I'm number four on the list of Russian. I'm like, I should have been one. I left early. Like, make sure you say that part. You know, <laughs> so when I did the hole in one, then there's more pictures and autographs. I said, no, you know what? I don't want y'all to think I do this all the time, you know, so I just let it go. <laughs> Having a lot of fun out there. We're going to talk about what's going on in Atlanta and who you got to run into there in a second, man. But make sure everybody hit that like and subscribe button and let us know where you're at. Swerve, man, they watching us in Phoenix, Arizona, man. The Orlando, Florida, Caledonia, Michigan, and Pittsburgh. Yes, indeed. Pittsburgh, man. I love to hear it every time, baby. I love to hear yeah. it. One thing about it, even being down here, man, we got Spartans everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Turn, turn that camera. Turn it. Can you turn the yeah. camera? Boom. There it is. No, oh, I can do it all. I can do it all. Script, I got the man. flip. It's right there. I got the flip phone, baby. I can flip this thing all over. <laughs> hey, listen, we got a special deal. Let's not forget about our Patreon members because we have another promo for Patreon members. Swerve with the news of the new NCAA college football game releasing on July nineteenth. This is college football twenty twenty five. We're going to be giving out two free copies to one of our or two of our Patreon subscribers. Hey, 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 hey you're hey. the one running to the mail and you deliver them. You might hand deliver it to them. Depends on who wins. You, be, you better know it. Anything I can do for a Spartan, I'm, I'm willing to do. But you know what? That game got me in trouble back in 96 and 97, Stray. What happened? I spent too much time on it. Uh <laughs> <laughs> you were sacrificed running 40 40s or six o'clock in the morning because of that game, man. Oh man. That's that I, I remember them 40 40 days. I did I made sure I never had to do that. But you yeah, that wasn't <laughs> but so so you had you said you had some people in the house down there, Charlie Baggett. We got pictures of you down there with Charlie Baggett, the great Charlie Baggett out of North Carolina. Bobby seen. Williams, my man I, I, Isaac. Yeah, Isaac, that guy, that kid Bobby. there, a special kid. Oh man, some great people, man. I mean, this is rolling real, real fast. Like, slow that down, man. Hey, you got some new pictures there. Look at Sam. Oh, look at look at look at like a tiger. Like a tiger. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. We 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 we're we're, we're, in, we're in a hurry here. It looks like we're in a hurry. We're moving fast. I, I didn't even get a chance to even see who. Is it is it possible for the church to slow it down so we can see <laughs> who Cedric was with? Is that possible? Oh my goodness gracious! Man. Uh, I got we got good eyes, but not that good. But you said there was a, a athlete there, a MSU golf recruit, Joe. So so at the beginning, yeah. you know, I had they, they had a great, they had a great breakfast here, and I and I had to speak and do a, a Q and A, which went very well. And also after that, they announced that it was a kid here that was that received a scholarship. It was two kids. One, you know, this this chapter here or alumni, Atlanta alumni, they give out a scholarship every year. And it was another kid that received a golf scholarship. Mm. And he's gonna be a freshman next year, uh, this this summer. 
And uh matter of fact, man, he's an ambassador for Callaway Golf. Okay. The kid is, the kid is smooth, man. Kid yeah. is smooth. Matter of fact, not just that, he got his own ball. Straight. Look at this here. They ain't got this down there, Michigan Cats. Oh, yeah, the Michigan Cats don't have that. That's, that's yeah, true. he got his own ball. He got his own ball, mm -hmm. man. There you go, right there. There he is, Joseph Canatano. All right. Yeah, yeah, man. Great dad, man. They had a great foursome. Oh, man, good kid going to do some great things up there at Michigan State. Yeah, man. Look like Rory. Looks like, you know, <laughs> look like a pro, pro golfer right there, man. Well, that's cool. Now, you said there was another young lady that won a scholarship. Isabella? Is the is Isabella, right? She wanted. She was the recipient last year, so she's a freshman, and she's studying stats. Oh, you know, yeah, oh, so yeah. She was she, up there she, in the booth with me, you know. Statistics. Yeah, oh, easy. Watch she, out, Chelsea. I got an Instagram, so you can call up. She, she's good. She's smart. Okay. A little bit smarter than me, you know. I think she scored something like a thirty-five on the on the ACT. And I think I scored a thirty-three. Uh, oh, okay. you know, man, you yeah. that day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, if I thought about school 35 or higher, they probably would have thought I cheated. So I just did a 33. <laughs> That's why you got a son at Stanford. I get it. I understand. <laughs> hey, we, we got to talk about Michigan State recruiting and, you know, the big EA new football, college football game, because there's a lot that happened with Michigan State in the process that went into them putting up the beautiful graphics that I'm sure they're going to get and be sure all the Patreon customers are going to get two copies going to be given out by Cedric when that game comes out on July 19th. Don't forget that, but we're going to get to Spartans Illustrated's own Brendan Moore in a moment after these messages from our friends over at IHOP. Uh, watch this omelet. Right this way. That looks delicious. Stop. The night shift is falling asleep on job. <laughs> Testing came back. Numbers look great. Hey, 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 whoa! Thank you. Come feed your inner child and set your imaginary friends free with a menu inspired by the all-new movie If, only at IHOP. Kids eat free 4 to 10 p.m. And see If, only in theaters May 17th. Oh, I should have worn a suit. Hey, If is coming out. It's coming Did out you see tomorrow. The they get it. All the colors, all the sugar that you can share. Hey, hey, Stray, I was thinking the 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 winner of the the game. Can we get it? You know how we was growing up. They had the people that win win the homes, and they, they got the camera following them as they knock on the door. Yeah. So you think we can get the address, and, and the camera can follow me as I knock on the door, like they do the Hall of Fame. <laughs> 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 and they gonna break down and cry. You hug them. Welcome to the fraternity. Welcome. That hey, <laughs> you can do that on the old sweepstakes. Uh, right, the sweepstakes. right. The old sweepstakes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Million dollar sweepstakes. It's gonna be that Just McMahon. McMahon. Right. Yeah. So look, man. Without further ado, let's bring on the man. Spartans Illustrated Zone. Brendan Moore joins this is Sparta MSU. Welcome back to the show, Brendan. How you doing, brother? Moore. What's going on, fellas? Uh, whose bank account are, are these free games coming out of? Who's paying for this? The people are paying, man. Look, we give all the money we get back. <laughs> it's like charity. You know, it comes in and goes right back out to them. So, you know, we just love doing it. Love it. You know, wealthy beyond measure. You know, so <laughs> we, you don't need nothing. I don't either. We just, I, I do. Honestly, but we're giving it back though, Brendan. That's just what we do. We're charitable. Yeah, come love on, BMO. We gotta give back to the people, <laughs> BMO. We gotta give back to the people. <laughs> BMO gonna be on he gonna be a Patreon subscriber in a moment. I <laughs> might have to. <laughs> well, speaking of that, you you had a great article that came out in uh, your Michigan State Rivals.com. You know that the Spartans Illustrated, and you can catch them at uh Spartans Rival. You know, at Spartans Rivals, where you talked about everything we need to know about what MSU provided EA Sports for the new video game. So talk a little bit about that. I know you still want people to go read the article, but just give us a couple of highlight points on that. Yeah, absolutely. You can go check out the article after you listen to this podcast. Obviously, check out the article at SpartansIllustrated.com. It's on the homepage there. But uh, I just wanted to touch on with this article, just kind of the basics about the game what it entails, but also what Michigan State sent to EA Sports 
uh, for this game. And it, it is notable that they sent or EA Sports requested information for this game to be sent last summer. So in the summer of 2023. So some of the stuff might be a little bit outdated, uh, but they did send over a ton of pictures. I mean, we obtained about 500, over 500 pages of pictures uh and documents that MSU sent over to EA Sports. I'm not going to reveal it all because it is uh, for our Spartans Illustrated subscribers, uh, or part of it is. So go check that out. Become a subscriber with us. Uh, yeah, and uh, EA Sports has been, this is part of the free section here, EA Sports has been to MSU, to East Lansing, to get footage of their own, of the stadium, of the surrounding campus. They've been to East Lansing multiple times. So they're really investing a lot into this game to, to make it different than the Madden, to make it different, make it a differing environment from stadium to stadium. Like when you play this game at Spartan stadium, it's going to be a differing environment as, as when you play at Kinnick stadium at Iowa or, or the horseshoe at Ohio state, they really want to make it different from school to school at EA sports is pouring in a lot of resources to this game. And I think they're going to kill it. Man, I, I think I saw like Chris Fowler has been at home doing all the, the voiceovers for every stadium, every possible play that can happen, penalties over and over again. He's been redoing it. You know, I wonder how much he's getting paid to do that, Brendan. Do you know? I don't know. I would imagine a, a, a fair amount, but for how much work he's been putting in him, Herb Street, all the ESPN guys have been putting in a ton of work just to record audio. And I saw one of his videos. Uh, he put Fowler post on social media a couple months ago was like, yeah, if you go into a two point shootout in like quadruple overtime and you throw an interception that gets returned for two points for the other team to win a game, we have audio for that. So if they're going to have audio for like every scenario imaginable in this game for every ridiculous scenario, like if you want to attempt a field goal from 90 yards out, like Cedric might be able to make that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has a big leg. Okay. They'll have one audio for that. You, B-Mo, one thing about you, Bimo, you are a smart dude, man. You know your <laughs> stuff. He, he can hit holes in one and hit 90-yard field goals. <laughs> well, I know it. <laughs> hey, I think we might have some uh, footage of the game from MSU. Is that is that right? Let's see. Oh. Hey. I mean, it's, it's going to look like that. I yeah, I want to. Yeah, it's going to look something similar to that. This is I did see this on social media, but this is from like a Madden modification that someone made, I believe, on, on PC. Uh, so it's not exactly what it's going to look like, but this is just what kind of Michigan State looks like kind of in this next generation of video game graphic design and all that stuff. So it's going to look something like that, something similar. But that is Madden. That is not the new game. Oh, okay. You know, I retired from playing Madden because I lost a lot of friends because it got personal because of all the ass whooping I was doing in that game. But watching that game and those graphics, I think I may be back. <laughs> I think I may, I may have to play this one. <laughs> you lost a lot of friends. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, because I talk trash. Mm -hmm. I'm going to talk about your parents and everything. I got to get in your head straight. I got Once I get in your head, the game is over. The game is absolutely over, man. Now, with this in the new EA Sports game, College Football 25, Brendan, are you, are there, I'm hearing that the transfer portal is going to be involved. No. Yes, 100%. It is. So what EA Sports wants to do with this is they want to include some of the sense of realism that is today's college football, whether that be transfer portal, NIL, uh, the multiple signing periods. Uh, and They haven't made a game since NCAA 14, which was released in summer of 2013. So a lot has changed in the recruiting world, uh, in, in the transfer world and all that. So they want to make a, a sort of a sense of realism a little bit, but also – uh, they're trying to find that balance of making that roster management realistic, but also fun, also manageable. They they, they kind of want you to to feel connected to the players that you do end up signing. Uh, so it's there's going to be some element of transfer portal and of nil in the game. So B more, tell me this: like I'm playing, I'm only going to play with Michigan State because I'm lower to the green and white. Mm -hmm. So if I'm playing and I switch quarterbacks at halftime. So you mean to tell me while I'm playing the game, if I want to play the next game, my quarterback and jumping reporter not be available? 
That I doubt would be the case, but I cannot confirm that. <laughs> I do not know for sure, but I, I have a feeling that would that would make a lot of people turn off the game right away. So I don't <laughs> He's going to jump in the portal. <laughs> no red cups. That's a clear cup there, I swear. That's cool. But, but in the NIL, like how are they going to show the NIL? That's that's what I want to understand that a little better. I how want to, too. I, I legitimately do not have a good answer for you on that. I'm curious to see how that works out. But like I said, I uh, they want to make it fun. They want to make it manageable still. They want to make you feel connected to the players that you end up signing uh, in some of these game modes. So I'm not sure how NIL really plays into that. But we'll see. Man, you know, I wish they would have had the parents in the meetings as they talk about the NIL the head part of that too. The parents in the meetings. They gotta have it sitting down. It's all kinds uh, of parents. You might as well take a visit, talk to the coach and everything. If you're gonna do if you're gonna do the whole new game, you want a new about the recruiting world, do the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Recruit a kid out of high school, <laughs> set up his business. Oh, oh man, it's crazy. I can't wait to watch this game, man. Uh, will will Dynasty mode be back? Yeah, no, it will. That's confirmed. Uh, Road to Glory is confirmed, which I believe is like the career mode. Uh, I think those two modes are confirmed by EA Sports. Uh, they're actually planning a full reveal tomorrow on Friday. Oh. So we'll know a, a lot more about the game, I'm guessing, tomorrow. Okay. Man, hey man, this this is this is what's going on. It's hot in the streets out here. The video game world, the area is here to stay. I mean, people getting scholarships to play video games, so I this is not hard for me to understand what's going on. I'm not a big video game guy, but everybody else is. So I don't knock it, man. Uh, you got to get on it or, or get left behind. Now, Brendan Bemo, we got to ask you some transfer portal news going on in MSU. Ben Roberts, defensive tackle, has committed. Michigan State from the Oregon Ducks. Yeah, Roberts is Oregon transfer defensive tackle. It's a position of need for Michigan State coming into this spring window, and Smith has really addressed it well. You see some of his tape here. Uh, from This is from the Oregon spring game. That first play did a really good job just pushing back that offensive lineman, harassing Dylan Gabriel to move his feet a little bit. Uh, second play did got right in the backfield. Uh, yeah, if you watch the second play run play, he gets his hands on the ball carrier, hands on the quarterback as well. So in a game, I guess that might be considered a tackle because in spring games, he can't really tackle the quarterback. But Roberts, he, uh, reports were coming out that he was he was breaking into the two deep uh, depth chart uh, during the spring and was set up for possibly a rotational role this fall with Oregon before he hopped into the portal. So I think this is probably one of Michigan State's best pickups here of the spring. No doubt about it. I mean, he's a big fella, the 6'2", 3, 6'3", 310 pounds. I mean, I like his nickname, Swerve. They call, he calls himself Big Worm. <laughs> I can't wait to get him on the show. But, yeah, that, I, that, that was, like you say, Bimo, that was a big need because we lost two big guys that was going to have a good chance to play on Sunday, you know, if they stay healthy. So to get a big body like that in the Big Ten – um, is it, we we needed that, so that was a good pickup. Yeah, no doubt about it. Now, so what are you seeing? Are you in contact with people? I know you have contacts around the football program. How is the mood with that coaching staff and people, the player personnel, people at Michigan State right now? Looking at the not only this signing here, but you know they have guys like Kobe Miner, the defensive back from Indiana, who is getting ready to make his decision. Yeah, us at the Spartans Illustrated website, the SI team, we have some contacts within the Michigan State football program, and they they like where they're at with the transfer portal guys that they're getting on campus that they have committed so far. Uh, Roberts is a guy that they really kept quiet. Uh, yeah, they didn't. He didn't really announce his visit all too much. They kept quiet, and, and he committed. So uh, props to them for doing that, and they, they're not done in the transfer portal either. Like you said, Kobe Miners expected to commit here. I would imagine pretty soon. So he might be another guy that'll join the fray at cornerback position. Might be a couple other transfers uh, to join the party as well. We'll see. But they like where they're at with the guys they're getting on campus and the guys they have committed so far. And and I'll commend them. They've done a really good job of backfilling here in the month of in late April and in now in the month of May because they lost some key guys into the portal at the beginning of that spring window and also late in the spring window with with Jaden Mangum. 
Then they obviously lost some two big defensive tackles, lost Geno Vandemark. So they've done they've done a really good job of of really filling in some of those spots and adding more depth to this team. You know, I want to commend the staff too because the way I'm looking at it is they got time to to look at these guys that's in the portal, you know, to to look at their film and and talk to them and, and recruit them like they would recruit them out of high school. And they just getting the guys that they feel like going to fit their system. You know, once you lose some guys, now you got to go find – because you got to think the guys that they lost wasn't their guys they recruited. You know, I don't know if they recruited out for those guys at Oregon State or whatever it was. So that's how I'm looking at it. And I'm hoping that, you know, whatever scheme that we're running on both sides on all three phases, that these guys we can plug in and they'll make plays. And, and just like I said earlier here today, we got to also look at our schedule. You know, there's <laughs> some problems in the Big Ten. You know, everybody ain't got teams that played in the national championship or, or was in the playoff. You know, right. so, you know, we, 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 we got to keep our head up and keep the hope and, and, and hope that these schemes are going to work and we're going to make plays and be victory at the end. No, yeah, that, that's a great point. A lot of play with Washington coming in. You got Oregon coming in. You know, that, that that's – playoff caliber teams right there. You know, obviously USC is always a dangerous team as well. You know, how Michigan State's going to be able to do that. They don't have to play all of them this year. The schedule does, you know, I think it is favorable for the Spartans, but, you know, Vegas dropping them down. I mean, I see it all over Twitter, all, you know, X. There, People saying that's free money. But be careful out there. Don't, don't ever wager more than you can afford. But – it does seem very tempting. Okay, four and a half. Say, don't, don't, say, please, please don't say that. Say, I already put the mortgage on it. You put every the, the whole house. <laughs> Four months ahead of time. You should have put that truck you got from the hole in one on it. Yeah. You know what, Demo? That's why you one of my friends. But if you would have texted me earlier and knew that, I would have did that. That was 62. I could have added to the 50 already. Oh, I put my <laughs> Man, so people, there's a guy LSU uh, from LSU. It's Jeremiah Hughes. There's another guy who's rumored to maybe he's a defensive back. He's a guy that's rumored to be on campus or maybe being close to to, to having a relationship, committing to Michigan State. Have you heard anything? Yeah, we posted this on our message board uh, this morning that he's visiting today, Michigan State here on Thursday. Uh, mm-hmm. So he played in 13 games, all 13 of LSU's games last year as a true freshman. Played a lot on special teams, especially. Uh, played mm-hmm. defensive snaps in five games, had six tackles. So he's he got he had experience a, as a true freshman. He's going to have three years of eligibility left wherever he ends up, plus a redshirt season if he needs it. Um, so former three-star recruit by rivals. So uh, And he was an outside cornerback when he did play defensively, played 39 snaps defensively primarily as that outside cornerback. So another position to need, cornerback position, which Smith and the staff have, have, have really kind of re- – uh, kind of backfield really well along with defensive tackle here in this spring window. So uh, Hughes would be another good get, more of a probably a developmental piece for 2024 if he does end up at Michigan State, but definitely one to watch uh, for the future and with I think it would be a big pickup as well. Man, you talking about so we, You know, the thing, thing I question, the thing I question is mm-hmm. when, guys, when guys do that, like when you leave a LSU – and you played 13 games or you played on special teams, like what's your mindset when you feel like you come to an MSU? You know, because now you can jump back in the portal. Like if he don't – do he do he look at MSU as, you know, smaller than LSU if I don't start or whatever it is, do I jump back in the portal again? You know what I'm saying? I want to know these kids' mindset when you leave a LSU to come to a Michigan State and you play 13 games, mostly on special teams – but if I played on special teams, that means I should be second or third screen. You know, I, I just, I just, oh, it's just butter me, man. I, I guess I got to re, uh, readjust to this new generation. It's hard right now. Well, well, you know, Swerve, though, they have that rule in the SEC where in the spring portal, they can't go SEC to SEC. So when you oh, see okay. those players that leave a school in the SEC in this portal, they have to go elsewhere. So that's why the Big Ten is benefiting from a lot of those players that are leaving. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Thank you. Yeah. That you makes know. sense. That makes sense. So that makes sense for the kid to go from Alabama to Iowa and then back from Iowa back to Alabama. <laughs> 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 
he he wanted to see if the grass was green on the other side. He found out it wasn't. But Brendan, you talked about the message board for Spartan Drive, Spartans Illustrated. How do people get to that message board specifically so they can get those hot updates? Yeah, if you go on our homepage, SpartansIllustrated.com, there'll be a tab at the top that says forums. You can click that, and you you will need to become a subscriber to read our message boards. Uh, we'll post, obviously, discussion threads just to keep the discussion going about Michigan State sports, really about anything. Uh, but we also update folks on recruiting news, transfer portal news, just any team news in general. Uh, uh, but it's all premium content. Like I said, become a subscriber. Uh, we'd really appreciate your support if you would do that. Yeah. How much does it cost to subscribe? Uh, right now it is ninety nine ninety five a month, or there's a yearly plan as well. well under 10 bucks. Come on, Under man. 10 bucks. To get all this information. And, and you can see all of my article on the EA Sports College football game, including pictures of what Michigan State sent into EA Sports, all that, uh, and all the message board stuff, all of our other premium articles as well, nine ninety five a month. Man. So That's now all. let me ask you this: With the Texas quarterback being on EA Sports, do that say that the Manny kid? You know what? Don't worry about it. I got nothing to do with Michigan State. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's been a lot of talk about you know. Let's see that cover one more time because they got one of the kids from down the road. They got Donovan Edwards on here, right? Oh, and I couldn't see that. My eyes don't see that. Yeah, it's I, see bad. In his I see a twelve and a three. <laughs> <laughs> So people are are really upset because his production wasn't that high last year, you know. And I can see it. I don't know. I don't know. You got Texas in there. You got obviously Prime's kid. You talking about Travis Hunter? Who's Bemo, I bet I bet Bemo and I bet you Strayhorn seven push-ups. Okay. That Beyon say something while his son wasn't on on the cover. <laughs> you gonna say something? <laughs> I, I'm just saying. I, I bet seven push-ups. Hey man, Fort Myers, the Florida boys, I, they're not too shy. Last I heard, swerve. <laughs> man, the swerves on his best behavior here in the golf course. But Brendan, man, thank you for the information and and coming on. Be sure to go check out Brendan his article at Spartans Illustrated and and go get to that message board. Get the hot information that they bring every single day to you. Brendan, thanks so much for joining us today. Uh, don't be a stranger. We'll bring you back soon, okay? Sounds good. Anytime, guys. Take care. Doing a good right. job, Pete Moore, my brother, my man. <laughs> Appreciate that. We'll see you guys. All right. Brendan Moore. BMO. BMO. Yeah, man. So, hey, man, look, look, Swerve, I know you got to get back to enjoying the festivities. I saw that not-so-red cup that you had right there. What you got? Is that Kool-Aid in there? It, it, it's clear, but it's red. It's clear, but it's red. Okay. And I, and I heard you talking to somebody that we you may reveal what's in those red cups. But we, we're going to get into that later because I know you're working right now, right? Oh, you're working man. hard. I do anything for a Spartan, baby. <laughs> right. Look, man, we got to let Swerve get back to – hitting some hole-in-ones or having some, you know, pops with a couple of the Spartans down there in Atlanta, you know. So we'll get you wrapped up here for the day, for the night. Swerve, you got any last uh, words before you take off and we get done with the show right here, man? Man, you know, it, it, was, it, was, it was great seeing Bobby Williams and Charlie Baggett, man, and sitting with them at breakfast, man, just having talk old times, still cracking jokes, man, and and also sitting there with guys. Man, I met guys that, that's like chairman of the Air, Miller Air House. Uh, man, just so many connections. Spartans around the world, man, it's just, man, we, we, we it, 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 you're blessed to be wear the green and white or be a part of the green and white. Trust me, and I'm learning that. And like I said in my speech, I didn't know these things, man, when I was playing because all I was focused on was trying to be the best running back. And I didn't see anything outside of, of sports, uh, the community. But now, man, I met I met a guy straight that said he's 67, and he says he still have a Swerving Irving jersey from '96. <laughs> I say, yeah. so you know me. I say, man, you know what? You lying. 
he went in his phone and showed me the jersey, picture of the jersey. Wow. Yeah. You know, I, I, I since I'm an I alpha male, I didn't cry. I didn't since I'm an alpha male, I didn't cry, you know, but in the inside I was a little mushy, you know. <laughs> Made you feel good, hey man. Oh man, put a smile on my. You see, I'm still smiling. Yeah. <laughs> hey man. Well, keep smiling and keep hitting them holes in one, man. Look, I appreciate you taking the time out and joining us today. I know this is a pre-recorded deal, obviously, because it's not eight o'clock with in Atlanta with that sunlight back there. But man, we got a lot of stuff going on. We're gonna be monitoring the transfer portal. News of what's going on with any kind of commitments. There's a lot going on with official visits, everything, Spartan football, and all the other sports related. We're gonna keep bringing it to you. We'll be, we'll see you next week on Tuesday at eight o'clock. Same bad channel, same bad time for Cedric Irvin. I'm Jason Strayhorn. This is Sparta MSU. Everybody, you have a good night. God bless you, and go green. Go white.